Well, some say once you learn about liquid lenses, you may want to call it liquid gold for those of us in a certain age bracket. Remember when you had no problem seeing and then one day you had to break down and buy reading glasses. Yeah, there's a new eye drop though recently approved by the FDA, which could allow you to get rid of those reading glasses and still see clearly. Consumer investigator Lauren Verna is joining us now. Lauren, so you actually got to see the drops work uh, right before your eyes, right before your eyes, I should say. I did. I will tell you, Melanie was mad at me that she didn't get to this do this story because she really wanted to try the drops out for herself. <laughs> it works. She was so she came harassing me. She goes, I wanted to do it. I, I'm a perfect candidate. Right. But I did. While the experience is going to be different for everyone, for the woman I met, it was, well, an eye-opening one. And let me answer two questions you likely have right off the bat. Yes, people who wear contacts can use the drops. And yes, it will cost you about $2 a day out of your own pocket. But as you're about to find out, it could be a very small price to pay to get rid of these. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. This area is getting clearer. Okay, like awesome. you are sharp as you can be. This is the first time in a long time. Michelle Bradley says she can see clearly in front of her without glasses or contacts. I'm Presby Hoppick, which pretty much happens when you turn 40. And my near vision has just gone away. And Dr. Curtis Schmidt says that's what makes her the perfect candidate for these new drops, the witty. Tell me a little bit about these drops. Uh, are they safe? You, what are the biggest questions you're getting out of them? Well, these new drops are the first and only FDA approved drops for presbyopia. Presbyopia is the gradual loss of your eyes' ability to focus on nearby objects. And it's a common issue as people get older, affecting nearly 128 million Americans. And it causes those annoying life moments. So when you're at a restaurant looking at a menu? Always have contacts or else a pair of readers. These drops are meant to replace that, or at least it should. It's a relatively new drop, so we don't know the final outcome of this yet, or we're in the initial stages of prescribing this. The drops only hit the market in December, and I found a handful of local doctors, including Dr. Schmidt, currently prescribing it. But don't expect insurance to cover it. The drops will cost you about 80 bucks out of pocket. They should last you throughout a month, and it comes in a five milliliter bottle. But the good news is you only need a single drop in each eye to improve close range vision for six to 10 hours. And Dr. Arun Galani explains the science behind the drop is simple. It mimics the eye's natural ability to focus. It increases the depth of focus like a camera and hence makes you see at different ranges. And Dr. Schmidt not only prescribes the drops, he uses it himself. Did you have that aha moment when you really felt it kick in? I did see it, yes. So we asked Dr. Schmidt to find us a volunteer who would be a good candidate for the drops, and we wanted it to be someone who had never used them before. I normally wear monovision, which leads us back to Michelle. After removing her contact lenses, she graciously let us record the experience of using these drops for the first time. And you only have to use this once a day. How does it feel right now? Uh, I did not feel any stinging. Now I'm just opening my eyes now. Yeah, well, I feel no stinging at all, which I'm shocked. Good, good. While the instructions say it could take up to 15 minutes to work, Michelle noticed a difference in less than five. All right, Michelle, we're going to go follow you. All righty. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Now, because the drops are only meant to fix blurry near vision, the manufacturer says it's not going to fix any other eye issues you may have. For Michelle, that means still needing to put in her other contacts for distance issues. This is definitely an improvement. I could not even see the second line when I before I put my contacts in in like a minute ago. And contact users can use the drops. Dr. Schmidt says you can put your contact lenses back in safely about 15 minutes after the drops go in. I feel like you feel amazed. I am. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect other than, as I've said before, the stinging. So I'm pretty surprised. All jokes aside, you can tell Michelle was excited by how well the drops were working. Dr. Arun Galani says the prescription eye drops come with minor side effects. Short term, basically I would say maybe redness of the eyes and headache at the most. Which Michelle says is not enough to keep her from using these drops again. Now at this point, liquid lenses are by prescription only and again, only meant to 
clear up that blurry vision close up. So Stacey Tarek, you'll need to have a conversation with your doctor first, decide if you're a good candidate for this, because again, it's not for everyone. It's not going to cure everything, but if you're the right candidate, it's really easy. These are annoying. We can all agree. Yes, they, yes, are. they are. But and six to 10 hours per drop. I like it. That doesn't last that long. So is there any situation where you should not be using these drops? Yeah, so pretty minor mostly. The drug maker does caution against using them when driving at night or performing activities in low light. They really recommend it, you know, put them in before a day of work. And if you're, especially if you're working at a computer, they're like, okay, it's gonna work pretty well for the day. So hmm. worth it if you can afford it, one. And if it's, these are enough of a bother. Yeah, interesting stuff, Lauren. Thank you for that report, yeah. very insightful. Ha, ha, ha.